With the flexibility of the Symphony 64 card, you can configure Symphony as a basic two-channel system all the way to a full-blown 64-channel powerhouse. In this tutorial, we will be covering a basic setup using a single Rosetta, including how to install your Symphony 64 card and how to configure the settings on the Rosetta to work with Symphony. First thing to do is install the Symphony 64 software following the on-screen instructions. Now install the Symphony 64 card in the slot just above the video card. With your computer turned off, connect the PCI32 cable to the left connector of the Symphony 64 card labeled 1 through 32. Connect the other end to the main port of the X Symphony card you have installed in your Rosetta. You can connect either a Rosetta 800 or 200 and the following instructions will be the same for both. Turn on the Rosetta. On the front of the Rosetta, set the source to digital out to analog and set the source to analog out to option. Make sure that you have only the sample rate selected and nothing lit up above the sync button. This indicates that the Rosetta is on its own internal clock. Now start up the computer. Maestro should automatically launch. In the Maestro control panel, you will see some drop down menus. The first one is clock source select. The default will be internal. If you want to use a Big Ben with your system, you will connect the output of the Big Ben to the word clock input of the Rosetta as described in the Big Ben manual. Now change the clock source menu to external, allowing Big Ben to be the master clock source. The next drop-down menu you will see is VBUS selections. We will discuss this in the SBUS and VBUS technologies video. Next is performance tuning. For the lowest latency, set this to high performance. The last drop-down is Symphony Source. For now, leave it at the default setting Card 1, Port 1. This is discussed in more detail in the Symphony 64 Advanced Setup video. Let's open Audio MIDI Setup by opening Applications, Utility, and double-clicking on Audio MIDI Setup. Make sure that the default output is set to Symphony 64. Now open iTunes and play something to test the output of the Rosetta. Remember that between the output of the Rosetta and the input to your power amp or powered monitors, you will need some kind of attenuation controller. Your Symphony system is now ready to use. Open your favorite audio application and choose Symphony as your audio device. In Logic, it is located under Preferences, Audio. Now choose Symphony 64 for device. Under I.O. Buffer Size, choose 32 samples for best latency performance. If you are running many plugins and system intensive soft synths, you may need to choose a higher setting such as 64 or 128. For more information or help, please go to our website, apogeedigital.com, and check out our advanced tutorials on Symphony 64.